there are a lot of advanced tools in Excel to help you analyze your pivot table data. You can use slicers and timelines to filter your pivot table data, and at a glance, you can see what filters are applied. To add a slicer, click a cell in your pivot table, and the Pivot Table Tools tab appears. Click Analyze. Click Insert Slicer. The Insert Slicer dialog has options for each field in the pivot table. Check the field you want to slice the pivot table with, and click OK. Adjust the size of the slicers. Move them where you want. And you're ready to slice your pivot table. To see the cooking and romance books sold in October at the Bellevue and Seattle stores, in the genre slicer, click Cooking, press the control key, and click Romance. In the date slicer, click October. In the store slicer, click Bellevue, press the control key, and click Seattle. And in the pivot table, you now see just the cooking and romance books sold in October at the Bellevue and Seattle stores. To reset the slicers, click the clear filter button at the top right of each slicer. To add a timeline, click a cell in your pivot table. On the Analyze tab, click Insert Timeline. The Insert Timelines dialog has an option for each date field in your pivot table. In this example, there's just one. Check the field and click OK. Adjust the size of the timeline and move it where you want. In the upper right of the timeline, click the drop down arrow and choose a time frame, such as days. Use the slider to move along the timeline. Select the day, click an end of the selector, and drag it to cover the time period you want. And the pivot table now displays the sales for the time period. You can use timelines and slicers together to filter your pivot table data. To reset the timeline, click the Clear Filter button at the top right of the timeline. Pivot charts provide a visual representation of your pivot table, making it easier to see trends. To create a pivot chart, click a cell in your pivot table. Click Analyze. Click Pivot Chart. In the Insert Chart dialog, click the chart type you want. And click OK. For information about different chart types, see the link in the course summary. Move the chart and make it the size you want. When you filter with the timeline and slicers, the chart automatically updates. Now you've got a pretty good idea about how to use pivot tables.